Hi, and welcome to Sisters for Financial Independence. In this video, we are going to cover all the options available for you on what you should do with your 401k from your old employer. If you are part of the Great Resignation or are in a season in your life where you are moving to a different industry, getting a jump start on a new career, this video is for you. Thanks so much for tuning in. My name is Katharina Gupjan, and here at Sisters for Fi, we help you manage your money better so that you can live a life of impact today and tomorrow. I have been fortunate enough to work for publicly traded companies that offered retirement accounts. These three companies also offered matching contributions. My average tenure at these companies was around three years, and I had the opportunity to stay there enough to receive the vested match for my retirement accounts. Over the years, as you grow in your career, as you find new opportunities, you will face with the question of what to do with your 401k accounts. Now, 401k accounts are generally used as retirement savings vehicles so that you have the funds necessary for when you are ready to retire years from now. As you move to different jobs, it's possible that you will accumulate multiple 401k accounts. And it's important for you to understand what to do with them so that you don't lose money and lose out on the power of building your nest egg today. Generally, you have 60 days to take an action on your 401k account. After that, your old employer may force you out of the plan, partly because they don't want to be paying the fees for someone that no longer works for them. Just a reminder that the content in this video is for educational purposes only. I do not know your personal situation. I do not know what other accounts you have. I don't know what your goals are. So it's best to speak with a tax advisor or a financial advisor or another legal consultant who can provide you the best strategy for maximizing your returns, but also ensuring you are minimizing your tax liability for these accounts and all of your other investment accounts. Just remember when it comes to your old 401k that you want to avoid a few things. You want to avoid triggering taxes. You want to avoid triggering an early withdrawal penalty. And you don't want to neglect these accounts because they could get eaten up by fees over time, leaving you with zero balance in the end. There are four options when it comes to your old 401k. Now, the four options are as follows, and we will go through these options in detail in a little bit. Option one is to cash out your 401k account. Option two is to leave it at your employer's plan. Option three is to roll it over to your new employer's plan if it's allowed. And your last option, the fourth option, is to roll it over to an IRA at a brokerage firm like Charles Schwab, Vanguard, or Fidelity. While you are figuring out what to do with your old employer's plan, sign up immediately for your new employer's plan. Some plans take some time to kick in, and sometimes with the busyness of starting a new opportunity, you may forget to sign up and get your investment started working for you and get that company match if it's available right away. The second thing you want to do with your new employer's plan is to review the plan. Talk to your new benefits administrator. Knowing what's in your new plan can help you decide if you should take this route of leaving your 401k at your old employer or rolling it over to your new one. A new study has found that there are over 24 million forgotten 401ks, totaling over 1.35 trillion assets. This means that individuals could miss out on around $700,000 in retirement savings, and that is something you do not want to miss out on. 
Your first option when it comes to your old 401k account is to withdraw and cash out the account. Now it can be very tempting to do this because you see that money in your account, but I want you to keep a few things in mind. The money set in your 401k has been set aside specifically under IRS rules for retirement, so for the future. This means that withdrawing it now before you are a certain age will incur a penalty. Most of the money in the 401k accounts are normally pre-tax dollars, meaning you have not paid taxes on these dollars. When you withdraw and cash out this account, you will also trigger a taxable event and you will have to pay taxes on that sum. So this means that even if you have a sizable amount in your 401k account, penalty plus taxes will reduce that amount when you take it out. Remember that the goal of the 401k account is to get your nest egg started. So even if it's just a few thousand dollars, while it's tempting to take that out today because it seems like a lot, it has the potential to grow even more tomorrow. Your second option when it comes to your old 401k account is to leave it at your old employer's plan. Now this depends on the balance you have. If you have less than a thousand dollars in your account, your old employer will likely force you out of the plan and they will cut you a check for that amount. Now doing so will trigger taxes and penalties. So you need to be watching out for those notices from your old employer that they're going to do this. If this happens and you receive a check, you need to deposit that immediately into a rollover IRA so that you don't get penalized for withdrawing that money. If you have less than $5,000 in the account, your employer may still force you out of the plan, partly because they don't want to be paying the administrative fees to manage your account. So they may roll it over to an IRA and you have to log in and make sure that's invested in something. In any of these cases, you will be receiving notices from your old employer regarding your old 401k. So you need to be on the lookout for those. If you have over $5,000 in the account, you could potentially, if your old employer allows, leave your account in your old employer's plan. This means your investments will be limited to whatever the plan provides. A disadvantage to leaving your 401k with your old employer is that over the years, you will start to accumulate accounts like these, especially as you move from job to job, and it can be very hard to manage multiple accounts and see the overall picture of your investments. Your third option when it comes to your old 401k account is to transfer the balance to your new employer's plan if it allows. Now, I mentioned earlier that you should be diving into your new employer's plan, talk to the benefits administrator to see what investments are available, and doing so will also inform you if your new employer allows this kind of rollover. If it does and you decide to do so, it's recommended that you do a direct rollover. Basically, you give instructions to transfer your old account to your new employer's plan. Doing a direct rollover means you won't trigger any withdrawal or penalties, and it allows for a smoother transition, moving your balance from one plan to the other. Of course, as you trigger this rollover process, make sure to follow the money and make sure that that balance arrives in your new employer's plan. This is mostly electronic transfers. You would have to fill out some paperwork. You might have to get some information from your new employer's plan to give to your old employer's plan so that they can do that direct to direct transfer. This option to transfer your balance from your old 401k to the new one 
is a great option if your new employer's plan provides similar low-cost investment options for you and it also allows you to consolidate your accounts into one place. Your fourth and final option is to do a rollover IRA. With this method, you would pick a reputable low-fee brokerage company like Vanguard, Fidelity, Charles Schwab, M1, and transfer your old 401k to an IRA. Most, but not all, 401k plans have limited investment options. And if you want more investment options, rolling your money over to an IRA will provide you a wider range of investments. With your money in a rollover IRA, you have more control over your investments, which does mean you might need to spend a little bit more time managing your money and your investments inside the IRA. As you have multiple 401ks, it is possible to start rolling them over into one large IRA. This means you have full control over all of your investments in one spot and you have a historical view of your investments. Now, I just want to review the types of 401k rollovers so that you can decide how you want to roll your money over. The first option is to do a rollover from a traditional 401k to a traditional IRA. And at this point, there will be a no taxable event because you're just doing a transfer of pre-tax dollars to pre-tax. This means your taxes are deferred and you will pay taxes when you withdraw in retirement age. The second option is to do a traditional 401k to a Roth IRA. Remember that traditional 401k is pre-tax and Roth IRA is post-tax. So this will trigger a taxable event and you'll owe taxes on the rolled over amount. Once you made the conversion, any earnings that accumulate in your Roth IRA will be eligible for tax-free withdrawal as long as your Roth IRA has been open for at least five years and you are at least 59 and a half years old. Your third option is to do a Roth 401k to a Roth IRA transfer. And in this case, there will be no taxes triggered because with the Roth 401k, you're putting post-tax money and you're also transferring it to an account that's post-tax. If you don't know if you have a traditional 401k or a Roth 401k, take a look at your 401k. You will see most likely either just 401k or Roth 401k, which will indicate if taxes have already been taken out or not. Now, there is a special case for company stock inside your 401k accounts, and I will cover that in a little bit. So if you want to jump to that, use the video chapters to get into that answer. If this video has been valuable so far, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend, maybe a colleague who is also going through the same thing and transitioning to a new job and deciding what to do with their old 401k. And just a quick PSA when it comes to rolling over your 401k, whether it's going to a new employer or it's going to a new IRA. Please keep in mind that this normally is a transfer of cash. What they will do is sell your assets from your old account and transfer cash to the new accounts. So you need to be buying investments inside your new accounts. I just want to cover a few questions that might come up as you figure out what to do with your 401k account. The first question that might come up is, what happens if I'm not fully vested? Now, when it comes to your 401k plan, all of your contributions are yours. So when you leave your employer, you can take it with you. But for some employers, they have set up a vesting schedule for the matching contributions of that account. When it comes to a vesting schedule, there are two types. The first type is called a cliff. And in this schedule, you would need to work a certain amount of hours or years with the company before you can get the full match. So it's zero dollars maybe for the first two years. And then after your second year, you get the full 
100% of the match. The second type of vesting schedule is called graded. And with this schedule, you are gradually entitled to a bigger percentage of your employer match. So for example, if you are at the company for one year, you might get 20% of the match. And then as you stay for another year, so you're there for two years, you'll get another 20% of the match and so forth. Now, if you leave the company before you are fully vested, you do forfeit the matching contributions. Just the con matching contributions, not your own personal contributions. So you won't get the full amount. Another question that might come up is, does my rollover count towards my maximum contributions for 401k or IRA? And the good news is it doesn't. It can, it's not counted towards your maximum contribution. For 2022, your maximum contribution for your 401k is $20,500 and your IRA maximum contribution is $6,000. I mentioned earlier of a special case with employer stock. If your 401k has shares of your former employer's publicly traded company shares, you want to be aware of a strategy called NUA, Net Unrealized Appreciation. And NUA allows you to save taxes on the gains of your company stock. It's specific to employer stock, and I'm going to link a few resources below to help you understand more about it. This is really for those that have thousands of dollars in employer stock and they have thousands of dollars in gains. And one thing we have to understand and realize is that any money inside our 401k and an IRA, when they are withdrawn, they are taxed at ordinary income rates. And if you look here, these are the current rates for income. They might change, but these are the current rates for 2022. But when it comes to the NUA strategy, you can take advantage of getting your the gains of your employer's stock taxed at capital gains rates, which is a little bit lower than normal income tax rates. Right, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope this video has been helpful. Leave any questions in the comments below, and I will see you next week for the next video here at Sisters for Fi. Bye.